Do you know when the major disappointment came to your life? When your expectations don't meet the reality? In this video I want to tell you about the major minuses living in Canada, the reasons why I still want to live here, and the simple truth after which you can decide to come here or to a different place in the world. And that is not just one more video among thousands about this topic. I actually didn't want to record this in the beginning of my YouTube channel, because I know that it is controversial. I wanted to know why I need to come to Canada, why it is great to come here, but I want you to live with truth and let you decide what do you want from your life. And in this video I will not share just facts or my opinion, I will teach you the critical thinking which will help you to make the right choice. So keep watching until the very end. But now, until you forget, please subscribe to this channel and like this video because it will help me to understand whether you like this video or not and others to learn more about the truth before they are gonna move to Canada. Two seconds for you. Subscribe to this channel, like this video and keep watching until the very end. Now I want you to tell about the minuses. These are just facts and only you can understand whether it is a minus or it is just a fact that you are ready to live with. Number one, and I believe it is the major one, there are some challenges and delays in medicine because you will not get the medical help right away. Not every time, not in every city, it depends, but in the major cities you will have to wait. The medical assistance here is free, but you have to wait here a lot. Lots of people who are immigrants actually come back to their countries to have the medical check, to have the dentist support, to have everything they need to maintain their health at the great level. And you need to understand that it is a fact here, no one will change it. Probably it will be changed in several years, but now it is as it is. Number two, the cost for living here is increasing right now. The food is much more expensive rather than it was several years ago. The main thing that the rent and accommodation is increasing in its cost dramatically. And that is the main one why people complain about the life here. Number three is dependence on the job that you find here. If you have this opportunity, you are still in your country, make sure that you will do your best and find your job in advance, because otherwise you will probably have some challenges here to find a job, because it depends on the industry to industry, but also on a person. Because as for me, I am a go-getter and I have found my job, I believe, within three weeks maximum, probably even two. But there are some people who are okay with the situation that they are in right now and they don't apply much effort to this challenge in their life. And that is why the process of finding job is not that fast for them. But I want to reassure you that that is possible. Watch my video about finding job here online in sales for a part-time and that is how you will be able to the very same way just copy paste and find your job even being still in your home country that is possible go watch this video and come back here number four we still remain immigrants no matter how long are you here you still be immigrant here for canadians even though the society is much more open to all nations here. There is a difference between communicating with Canadians and Canadians and for Canadians with immigrants. Number five, lots of people in Canada right now say that Canada right now is not the same as it was 10 or 20 years ago. And it is true, lots of facts are different right now. And they compare their life with the previous Canada and with this Canada. And it is not the same and they complain about the changes. I can understand them, but if you aren't ready to hear all those people complaining about this, you just need to make sure that you are aware that there are lots of people who do this, so you will not be surprised after you coming here. Next one is climate and you need to understand that here it can be minus 10 right now or it can be even minus 25 and for example today was the third time when we had a giant snowfall it was approximately 20 centimeters per night 
and there were three major snowfalls here in Ontario this 2022 and you just need to make sure that you are ready for this if you want to live just with the sunshine with the ocean go find this place that is not canada at least not ontario next one is super long processes in everything i don't know whether it is bureaucracy or that is just the culture of people who live here that they are okay with the slow motion, slow mood of their working life, of their life itself. Once you need to do any kind of documents, any kind of licenses, anything that connected with companies which are governmental, you need to understand that it will take time. Be prepared that you can wait on a call even more than an hour just to have a response from a bank, from a mountain ski company, from any other services that you need to reach out to. Just be aware that it can take that much time. One more thing is the food. If you compare the food in Europe and here they are different, the quality is different. For me it is okay. I can live with this, with this food that is here. There are some organic shops, uh, for example the food basic. At the same time, you just need to make sure that you are aware of this. And now I want to tell you why I'm still here, why I still want to be here. And the major fact is I want to get the PR and the citizenship of the Canada. I want to make sure that I will have as many opportunities in my life as possible. Number two, here it is a really crucially different level of education. My four years bachelor degree in Russian University, I I applied almost nothing in my working career. That is just a fact because knowledge were outdated. Here it is completely different. I study online, I can switch from my one zoom to the other, from my studying zoom to the working zoom and right away implement everything I have studied just a minute ago. Number three is what I've told you already that the immigration process is just a challenge, is one more thing that I want to achieve in life and that is kind of sign of success for me. That is only my thoughts in my mind but I believe in them and they kind of help me and that is why I really want to come through this process and we'll see where I will live then. Number four, I really love love language. I love English and I wanted and still want to experience the life in this language fully, completely. Because right now I still have lots of communications with Russians and it is amazing, but I want to enhance my English even more with my coaching, with my YouTube channel. And I just want to tell you, um, I compared several countries, Australia, USA and UK for understanding where is better to immigrate and also where like the process of immigration is faster. As for me with my characteristics, with my options, with my case in my life, it was much easier process of immigration and it is much more welcoming country for immigrants. And these are main things why I am here right now and I don't regret about anything. I know that the life happens to the best of its capacity for us. And here I come across several times people that are keep talking that several years ago it was much better than it, it is right now. I don't understand why people are still coming to Canada, it is not that attractive anymore. I'd better go to the Caribbean islands or the Maldives, there is the weather much better and everything. As for me, I understand that they can tell anything they want, it is the number one, and the second, they probably already get PR and they can go to Caribbean islands or to Maldives much easier rather than I can with my Russian passport. And that is the very easy decision for me. I will come through this and I will decide by my own whether I like Canada or not. But for now, I enjoy it fully. Here I want to switch to some sort of value or coaching part. Isn't it? much easier to complain about everything all the time. Isn't it so hard to love and accept the place where you are in your life right now? The answer is yes. Every time that is much easier to complain about everything. Keep telling that the other line moves much better rather than mine. And if you want to keep doing this, you are welcome to do this. But I am not such a person. We think that something need to change in order for us to start love our lives, right? 
you think that, okay, I need to have a different country, I need to have a different body, I need to have a different car, I need to have a different partner to finally start enjoying your life. That is just the thoughts in your head. You can start love yourself, love your place of living, love your life right now. I cannot emphasize this enough and if I can scream, I can scream right now, but you will not hear me anymore because you have so many thoughts in your head that the borders for you not to believe what I am talking right now. And that is okay, I completely understand this. The one thing I want you to understand is that no circumstances can define your happiness. That is life-changing understanding and I am totally okay if you will not understand and realize and actually really feel it right now, that is okay. But I want you to understand that that is some kind of truth. The only thing that can define your happiness is your mindset, is your thoughts in your head. And to transform your mind, you can do it either by yourself or with the help of the person who have gone through this process already. And if you are looking for one, I am here for you and I will be more than happy to help you. Go in the comments below or there are several links in the description where you can reach out to me. Text me your case and I will talk with you and make sure that you will never regret about anything. You will never think that other line moves much better and much faster rather than mine. You will finally start to enjoy your life. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. You right now making such a crucial steps that already start changing your life for before and after. And I will see you in the next one. Have a nice week.